Uh, the first nominee is Molly Burke. Molly here again for another video, and if you have no idea who I am, I'm the blind girl. Molly Burke is a rising social media star looking to inspire others with her unique point of view. I am not just a blind girl. I am a girl who happens to be blind. I want to be the person who says no. My disability is not the elephant in the room. But Molly's inability to see has not held her back. I'm an open book. I want to be here to educate you. I would rather you ask and find out and be educated, then go about your life always wondering and assuming and being wrong. In 2016, Molly shared a message about being the target of bullies in the eighth grade. She says she was abandoned by girls in a forest. Molly learned to move forward. She gained confidence with the support of family and new friends and uses her story to show others that they are not alone. So cool. She also continues to expand her platform. Her more than one million YouTube channel subscribers can watch her makeup tutorials. Uh, fellow Canadian, Molly Burke. Thank you. Hello. Oh, I have a trophy. Oh my goodness. So fun. Can, can somebody hold this for me? <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> I've got the dog, the mic. I'm a little person. I can only do so much at once. Um, hello, my name is Molly Burke, as you saw in that video. Um, and I'm so honored to be here today. I am a YouTuber and motivational speaker. And I didn't know I was supposed to speak, so don't judge my speaking on uh, what you hear today. We're just going to see what comes out of my mouth. My parents are terrified um, right now <laughs> hearing that. Uh, but I feel like I should give a little bit of a background I guess what's led me to being able to be here today. Uh, so when I was four years old, I was diagnosed with a rare genetic eye disease called retinitis pigmentosa, which causes the slow degenerative loss of vision. Um, and so for me, in my case, I ended up losing the majority of my vision when I was 14 years old. Um, and at the time, I struggled with very severe bullying. I went from being the popular girl at school to having no friends and being tormented by bullies. I went from being the happy, bubbly, outgoing girl that most people would know today um, to being extremely depressed, um, dealing with suicidal ideation, and overall really struggling. And um, at that point is when I found YouTube. I think, you know, whenever people are like, oh, how did you get into YouTube? I, I feel like I have a similar story to most. I, I got into it as a viewer, of course, as a fan. And for me, YouTube was a huge part of my journey to recovery because I've always been a makeup, fashion loving, girly girl, but all of a sudden I couldn't see these things. And all of a sudden I didn't have teenage girlfriends to go out shopping with on the weekends or to talk about makeup with at sleepovers anymore. And so I would watch the beauty community on YouTube and I would listen to their makeup tutorials and I would practice alone in my bedroom. Um, and I would listen to their fashion hauls and go out and buy the same clothes as them. And all of these things really helped me to find myself again, to find my confidence, and um, to feel like I could go out in the world and still be me. And uh, at 18 years old, I graduated high school and I started my full-time career as a speaker. I was fortunate enough to get to travel the world, um, speaking to audiences of 20,000 and working with really incredible world leaders and change makers. And it was super rewarding to speak to these audiences, but I also was aware that there's so many more people out there who may need to hear my message that will never get to hear me live. And, and that's when I remembered and reflect on how much YouTube had provided me with. And I think it's really easy, especially with mainstream media, kind of the negative stories we can hear about social media at times, um, to discount different communities on YouTube you know, gaming or beauty, these things are shallow or silly, but they do so much more than what you might think. And I knew that I wanted to be able to do that for people. And that's when four years ago, I started my channel with zero um, idea that it would end up one day becoming a part of my career um, and become what it is today. But I'm super blessed now. I don't get to just be the girl who talks about being blind and bullied and depressed. I'm the girl who also gets to help normalize disability and, and share that at the end of the day, I'm a 24-year-old girl who loves makeup and fashion and has a cute dog and 
goes out on horrible Tinder dates and does all the things that normal 24-year-olds living in Los Angeles do. And, and I love that, and I have so much fun, and I'm so blessed to have, you know, two million followers across platforms that want to come on this journey with me. It's still shocking to me, um, but I'm, I'm so blessed to be able to take my pain and turn it into purpose is all I've ever wanted to do because at the end of the day, um, I need to know that I didn't go through everything for nothing. And my audience allows me to know that. And, um, and that's at the end of the day what I want to share with you is if you can take your pain um, and turn it into purpose, you'll be amazed at the change you can make in the world. And I also, of course, just want to say thank you to my incredible parents who are here who have supported me every step of the way, to my amazing manager and my friends and my supporters and everybody who helps me do what I do on a daily basis. Of course, my adorable guide dog who decided it's time to take a nap. He's like, Molly, get off the stage. I'm bored now. Um, so I will. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Thank you to the Purpose Boards and the Streamies.